YouTube, what's up? Welcome to the first uh, day in the life of yours truly. You guys been requesting it, here we are, man. Uh, life's changed a lot, and my days look very different um, than what they used to 10 years ago, what they used to five years ago, and even what they looked like a month ago. Um, many of you know I opened the Gym 3SB, uh, Third Street Barbell, the apparel company, good company, 3SB. Um, I run Kaizen Training. I have a podcast, a YouTube, a Twitch channel, Instagram, etc., etc. So my days are filled with sometimes not so exciting things like a computer screen or phone call meetings, just like the adults that you may all or may all not be. But um, we did recently get an intern. Shout out to our boy Seabass who edits these videos. He's also taking care of the gym for me today. And so uh, I got to sleep in and I woke up about 7.30, rolled around 7.50, made this nice beautiful cup of coffee with my boy Groot and we bang out to work. I front load my days. I know it's not that uh, interesting, but a lot of people say, how do you get organized and stuff? And for me, I don't know if it's like ADHD or what, but I need to front load all my annoying work in the morning. And so I, I literally go coffee straight to my desk and whenever I wake up, so today it was about 7.50 I got to the desk, I'll work all my monotonous email organizing, uh, inventory for clothing, all that kind of stuff, bang it out. I know imposter syndrome is like such a thing, and I don't know if I've ever dealt with mega imposter syndrome in my life, but I just watched the Anthony Bourdain documentary, and uh, I do feel... I don't understand people's attraction to him. And maybe that's a, a sign that this dude's kind of like me, where I think he even admits like he's a bad chef or not like a great chef. And so when I see myself in the fitness industry and these vlogs and man, shout out to all y'all that have supported me for like 10 years now. And it's insane, man. And trust me, it doesn't go unnoticed. And, and my life would be so different without y'all. But like, I'm not the best lifter. I'm not the best coach. Training hasn't changed that much. I have a really good grasp on all the concepts and I can help a lot of people, but I'm not, you know, I'm not Lane Norton on the edge of science. Um, I'm not the number one entertainer. I ain't Jake Paul. I ain't gonna light my hair on fire for a couple of views. That's just not lines up with who I am or my morals. I'm just some dude who got lucky, who got a chance, who got some kind of audience, interviewed a lot of folks traveled the world lifting weights and vlogged it and now here we are and so it's like what do i do now you know what content do i spew what can i do what angle can i put on to still help entertain and educate people that may or may not need help maybe in a dark place and, and hopefully i can help them because i've been there and that's the number one goal that stays the number one goal and that's been my number one goal um so a lot of my brainstorming lately has kind of been sat around that like what am i going to do long term um, with the content and so as of now i think uh i think i'm gonna try to plan to travel again we open up some space in the gym and i'm gonna move around um maybe head to la hang out with bart more he kind of fills my creative cup um and kind of see where that goes and, and the creative outlet of making clothes is very fulfilling and it seems like y'all are down with 3sb.co and so that feels really good and, but but as a content creator i need to create content it's just got to happen um, so I'm going to bang out more emails. It's probably going to be a little bit boring of a morning. And then uh, head to the gym. we got a podcast to film today, 50% Facts. Check on the boys. Make sure the gym hasn't caught on fire. Um, and what do they call it? GW, GR, ready with me. GRWM. Get ready with me. So it's become a little bit more public, but my interest in fashion and clothes has been there for a very long time. Um, but I maybe didn't share it with you guys as much here, maybe a little bit on Instagram. But the truth is, it's like not like I'm a fashion guru or genius. I don't really talk to a lot of people about fashion. I don't really know what other people do. I feel like people get dressed and they try to look put together or they try to get dressed to really impress or get ready for whatever they're about to do, right? So like, 
oh, I'm going to this event, I have to wear this because these type of people will be there or I got to get ready and do this and that because I'm going to this dinner or event where like I, I don't know if that made sense, <laughs> where I get ready to feel good. I get dressed to like physically feel good, like comfy shit, but then I also get ready to feel good in how I look. I want to look put together for me. And I know that sounds some, you know, heebie-jeebie Pinterest type shit, but it's really true. Cause I know if I feel better, if I feel confident in what I'm about to rock, physically feel comfortable and feel confident about what I'm about to rock, then I'm gonna be have a more successful day. And I think that comes off in the confidence in how I walk, talk, act. And to me, that style. I don't know shit about fashion, but I think I have my own style. And it's not like I'm some unique peacock. I obviously see how people wear things and emulate things that I like. I don't really know where I was going with that. But because I get a lot of comments like, hey, what do you wear? Where do you get that jacket? Where do you get that clothes? And the truth is, say 30% of my stuff is vintage. I bought it off eBay. 40, 50% is 3SB, Third Street shit. And then the other 10 to 20 is either like Jordan, Nike, Reebok, Barber Brigade, Rascal, kind of the homey stuff mixed in there. Heading to the gym, I might give you guys a little B-roll. Boom. I don't know if y'all think uh, content creator life or gym life, maybe it's my fault for not making it look so dope like everybody else. The truth is it ain't that cool. That's a regular job like anybody else. Like I'm a very lucky guy and a lot of cool opportunities, but I ain't just driving around Ferraris all day in a tank top, dripping in oil, taking pictures. You know, we got some like bullshit work and like this one, my bullshit work looks like. Here's my first meal of the day though. These things actually rip, not sponsored. Bear Bell? This flavors whatever, but Bear Bell's bang. We just spent half an hour making this stupid thing. If you guys are around, man, second Saturday, February 12th. I think it's my little bro's birthday. We're doing a, a free gym here. So roll up 8 a.m. to noon. We'll be chilling February 12th. I'll probably come in. What day? I'll probably have a push day that day, but you all can do whatever you want. Thump the music, have a good time. Uh, just start to build community that way. So every second Saturday, um, we're going to try to do an open gym here at Unless it's like a holiday or something crazy, but uh, that's the work. My fat thumbs, plugging on my fat iPhone, trying to figure it out, eating a protein bar, man. Listening to 21 Savage, hopefully we don't get dmca but it ain't all glams and glory, fam. But this is uh, it's the chugging grind of being a creator and, and a business owner. The truth. Maybe, maybe that's why my vlogs don't pop like everybody else's vlogs, but at least I'm honest with myself. If y'all are an OG to the game, the YouTube fitness game, you know how we to wrap up our day with a burrito from Chipotle. Chipotle is the epitome of fitness, YouTube health. And if you don't know why, read the comments below. Someone will tell you why. Uh, today's winding down, man. Um, had to chill at the gym for a little bit longer. We're kind of in that transition. I told y'all, trying to free up some time. We grabbed a, a trainee, so um, hours a little different. I just had to do some desk hours and a little bit of work, so I didn't want to um, bore y'all with that in my rants.